Hi, well, back at it again. I just want to be convinced that you understand your curve sketching really well and using completing the square. Now many of us learn things by formula, not understanding it. But it's very important that you get to know your formulas, how it came about and why it is so. Now, as I said to you, you don't want to be a nerd, do you? So using your head and thinking through and getting the steps right. Now I'm putting up three sums on the board here. You look at that y equals to minus 7x squared minus 3. And I've got minus 7x squared. Instead of minus 3, I put a minus 2x here. I take it off. Look at that. And then we're going to draw another one. It's a little bit minus 7x squared minus 2x minus 3. Now, three similar yet very different sums. We're going to find out more, all right? Let's get to it. Now, be with me, work with me, my dear, as we get the sum. Now, the very fact that it's minus 7x squared, they're all quadratic equation. Completing the square is only applied in quadratic equations, all right? So we look at this, minus tells us the curve is going to be a mountain, right? Minus. And there's no x here. It's really tricky, isn't it? So we take minus 7x squared. To make it better, we put it as a 0x minus 3. That makes things a lot more easier. Take out the minus 7. We've got an x squared. 0 divided by 7x minus 3. Now, what we do here, we put a minus 7. Here is x, a half of a 0 is a 0. So, you still get a 0 there and you square it. And you put here minus 3. Have you added anything? Any stranger? When you open this up, you get an x squared. Two times of this two is a 0x. And the square of this is a 0. 0 times n minus 7 is still a 0. Nothing is added or subtracted. So this tells us we don't have to add or subtract anything. Isn't it easy? So this is already completing the square expressed clearly. It's going to be a maximum point. And the maximum point takes place when it is when x is 0 and y is a minus 3. We can in fact draw the curve for this. What do you get? Mm. When x is 0, x is 0, y is minus 3. Right? And the curve goes this way. Ah, maximum point. You can see very clearly there is no turning point. Right? And anyway, I'd like to show you more about the turning point here. Let's look at the roots to be convinced by it. We said, hey, minus 7, x plus 0 squared, equal, minus 3, equal to 0, and turning point. Bring this over, you get a minus 3. So we said, hey, oh, you multiply by minus and a minus. And bring your minus 3, oh, this becomes a plus 3. Alright, when you bring it over, you get a minus 3. Okay, as I said, bring this over, it becomes a plus 7. Bracket x plus 0 squared is minus 3. That's one way of looking at it. Throw the 7 over, you get a minus 7 thirds. 3 thirds, sorry. 3 seven. I'm sorry. And so you've got a x plus 0 squared is a minus 3 over 7. Find the square root of it. Can you ever find the square root? Nope. Oops. No roots. Undefined in that sense. All right? So it shows very clearly in the graph. You see it? See the logic? See the meaning? Understand? Interpret. 
go beyond what you have to do and see it. Now, always in a graph, label the axis, label the name of the graph. Make it a practice to do these things. This is called good etiquette in maths, all right? Now, let's look at this. How is this? Does this, root, this graph have roots or does it behave like this? Do they have the term, same turning point? You want to determine it. So what do we do again? We said, hey, minus 7. Remember there's no constant here. The constant here is a 0. Take that out. You got an x squared. Look at that minus. You have put a minus here. So you put a plus. Plus and a minus gives you a minus. 2 over 7x plus 0. You divide it by 7 so that when you multiply, you get that. Alright, look at it and check it out. Now when you do this, now we're going to do completing the square. You get an x, this is a plus, a half of 2 sevenths is 1 seventh. Now what is the stranger that you've added? Alright, you get x squared plus 2 seventh x here. Look at that, plus 1 over 49 times minus 7. Minus 7 times 1 over 49. Cancel. You've added a minus 1 seventh. So what we do is we plus the 1 seventh. So your y is going to be minus 7x plus 1 seventh squared plus 1 seventh. This is completing the square. We've done it. And we can see very clearly from here that we have because it's minus, it's a maximum point, and the maximum point takes place at this point when this is zero, x is minus one seventh, and y is plus one seventh. Right? And what are the roots going to be? You got it? Y is going to be a zero. And you can really find out very easily when you make y equals to 0. I'm going to write it fast right now because you are getting better. When y is 0, this whole thing is brought here. You get a 7x plus 1 over 7 squared. Squared is here. Bring this over when y is 0 and this 1 7 remains here. Bring the 7 over. You get 1 over 49. The square root of this will be x plus 1 7 is going to be a plus and minus 1 over 7. Hence, your x can be, if, you, if it's a plus, you bring this over, your x can be 0. If it's a minus, minus 1 7, minus 1 7, you get a minus 2 7. And so it's very clearly visible, the roots of the sum. Alright? So when y is 0, you've got these two. If we draw this graph, alright, when x is minus 1 7th, y is 1 7th, right? And you can see that when x is 0, y is 0. The maximum point takes place when x is minus 1 7th, y is 1 7th. And the roots here, one root is 0, the other one is minus 2 7th. So here is minus 1 7th. Here is minus 2 7th. Your graph goes this way. You see it? Alright? It's minus 2 7th and 0. Your roots and that's your turning point here. It's taking place at x which is minus 1 7th and y is 1 7th. That's the graph of this. That's the graph of this. Got it. So do you see the difference between these two graphs? Look at this graph and look at this graph. Do you see it? There's no roots here. Well, here there is two roots. Now look at this. We're going to find out how to do this. Again, we're going to find out the roots. Right. I take out the minus 7. This is an x squared. It becomes a plus. And we've got x here and a minus 3. We can move a little faster now. We've got an x 
plus a 1 7 square it and what have you added 1 over 49 times 7 all right minus 7 you've added a minus 1 7th so the stranger you neutralize it plus 1 7th am i right 1 over 49 times minus 7 is a minus 1 7th so you neutralize it by putting it as a plus 1 7th so your y is going to be minus 7 x plus 1 over 7 squared minus 2 holes and 6 7 hmm? so this shows us it's going to be a maximum point and the maximum point takes place when this is 0 x is minus 1 7 y is minus 2 holes and 6 7 now if you look at this very clearly it's going to tell you there's no roots because the maximum point is below the x-axis and it's maximum you can see it my dear friends look at that when x is minus 1 7 y is minus 2 holes and 6 7 ooh it's going to be this way the graph is going to go and cut at minus 3 when x is 0 y is minus 3 there's no roots do you see that? But we want to be convinced and I want to know, I want to know that you know why no roots came about. As I said to you, we want to stay away from being a nerd, learning things without any meaning. Let's look at that further. Right, and I know, my dear friend, you are not a nerd. You want to be sure about things that you learn. So let's look at this. We said, hey, to find the roots, what do you say? The y must be equal to zero. Yeah, and you said this is equal to zero. So when you put it this way, you said a, this must be equal to zero. You bring this over, and so you get a seven, x plus one over seven squared. When you bring this over, it becomes a plus, and it's equal to a minus. All right, this value, Minus 2 whole 6, 7. Change it to a proper fraction. 14, 20 over 7. Bring the 7 over. Yes. Find the square root. And can we ever find the square root of a negative number? Oops. No. So, oops. No. So, what do you say? No defined roots right so we are convinced that's the graph haven't we be very convinced in curve sketching the power of completing the square i hope you've got that isn't it beautiful and makes it very easy in curve sketching of quadratic curves whether it's maximum minimum thank you